Oh, no, no, no. no. Now, before we enter the reserve, I do have to just try and check in with the airborne warden. Let him know we're not poachers and we're coming onto the reserve. I'm just going to let this guy take my picture really quick. There you go. Making memories. All right. Now, on our right hand side, there are those two animals with the striped legs. Those are okapi. Now, they may look like zebras, but in fact, they are the only known relatives of the giraffe. Now, they're very shy animals. They weren't first discovered by the Western world until 1901. So fairly recently for such a large animal. Now on our left hand side, that bird they come all over, so we'll see what we can find out here. Like these uh, yellow-billed storks on our right hand side, these birds with the yellow bills and the red faces. They are a carnivorous bird. They'll eat small fish, frogs, snakes, other small birds as well. Looks like they're about to eat some vultures. Yeah. When born a hippo like that will weigh around 85 pounds. When fully grown, they will weigh four to five thousand. 
they are very, very large. Now it looks like the river is shallow enough, shallow, enough, shallow enough for us to cross right now. So we're going to head a little bit farther up river, see if we can spot some more hippos. Oh wow, it looks like there's a pot of hippos coming up on our left. We're together in groups to herd fish into shallower waters where they're a little easier to pick off. Alright, so there we go. Bunch of uh, hippos there. I'm gonna stop for a second. I gotta contact the warden really quick. Look at them all. Look at them all. Oh, I see. Okay. And then I think she's the Anyway, there's a hang about her. Alright, everyone. We're going to continue on. Now, if you guys have any questions, any questions, Wild Crocodile are much larger and much more aggressive than the American alligator. They'll reach lengths of 18 to 20 feet long. Oh, wow. Now, these Nile crocodile can actually bite down with a force of 1,200 pounds per square inch. That's enough to break bone. Isles and acts as a super highway for millions of migrating animals every year. It's also home to some of our more famous animals like elephants, giraffes, lions. And this is all part of the white head. Looks like there's one really close to the path. These are and Coley cattle, also known as Watusi cattle. That name comes from the Watusi tribe, which was the first tribe here in Africa to domesticate these animals. Their horns will grow between five and six feet long, and they'll be around 20 inches at the base. Yeah. Now you can tell this one's the alpha male, because he's going to have the largest horns. Now that kind of brownish animal standing by himself in the clearing there, that is a water buck. Now, the water buck gets its name because it secretes an oily type substance which makes him waterproof. So to escape predators, he'll actually dive and submerge himself into watering holes. Pounds. Now even though they are so large, they can jump up to eight feet straight up in the air. And we are going to see a giraffe coming up on our left hand side. It's a Maasai giraffe. The way you can tell it's a empty pattern, I like to think it looks like a little kid colored him in. A Maasai giraffe will stand about 16 feet tall. These, <laughs> but they are fully grown. Thompson's gazelles will be fully grown at 60 pounds. Now they are very quick. They can run at speeds of around 50 miles per hour and are extremely agile. All right, we're going to head up here. And coming up on our left-hand side, we're actually going to see it comes from the Latin word reticulato, which means that. So there's a reticulated giraffe standing there. They are the tallest animals in the world. They'll stand 18 to 20 feet tall. And now all giraffe will see for about 30 minutes every day, normally while standing, and not all at once either. We'll see for about five to eight minute periods of time for about 30 minutes total every day. Wow, that's it. Wow. Full grown elephant like that one. We eat about, we eat about 300 pounds of food every day. <laughs> Elephants uh, have a 22 month gestation period. When born, they weigh between 250 and around 300 pounds. Now they'll spend the next 13 to 15 years with their mothers. That's because I love them so much. So elephants see with their parents learn many of the important skills they need to serve. <laughs> goes that pink color in their feathers. It comes from keratin, which is found in the earlier. These animals weigh between four and five thousand pounds apiece. Now you may notice he's really not that white, and that's because their name doesn't come from the color. It comes from the Afrikaans word "vite," which means wide, and it refers to their wide rectangular mouths. Now these animals are a success story here in Africa. Anti-poaching and conservation laws. Their numbers have now been brought back. Animals, they can reach speeds running of 60 to 70 miles per hour for short periods of time. They're also one of the few predators that hunts by sight rather than smell. They get their name from those horns which are shaped like a scimitar, a Middle Eastern weapon. These horns are going to be about 42 inches long. There we go. If you look up to your left hand side there you can see that lion laying there. It'll be about 8 feet from nose to tail. Uh, 
scheduled trek. So I'm going to have to drop you off the nearest warden's post. It'll be a short walk from there back to Harambe Village. I just want to say thank you one more time. Asante Sada for always protect all our precious wildlife here. And remember, wherever you're from, you can protect your local wildlife as well. Now, if you're looking for more animal encounters today, I would suggest the Pangani Forest Exploration Trail. It's a nice, easy walk which offers up close animal encounters. A variety of different animals, including gorillas, hippos, okapi, naked. Look at me once, they turned away. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hey, you guys, turn around with your back to it for a minute. <laughs> you could, you just didn't think you could. So it's at, uh, what was that? Um, in Lion King. The, the, uh, Most fair. You're making that up. <laughs> Hey Katie, I want you two stand here so I can get you. Oh, maybe I don't need to. Thank you. 
Verona, you can see them from right here. I think I hear elephants. <laughs> Thank you.